I've read a line that uh, you mentioned in your podcast with Ranveer that uh, is consciousness an emergent property mm-hmm. or is it something that just permeates the universe? Do you lean towards one of them? Firstly, we don't have a scientific definition of consciousness. What is consciousness? I mean, you can define what an electron is. You can define what force is, gravitational force. You can define define the electromagnetic force. We have the equations for that. What is consciousness? we don't have a scientific definition so the next best thing is let's try and define what a conscious system is let's say i have a box which i say is conscious so what are the characteristics of a conscious box right. so you have to define that set of characteristics right. even that is something that lots of people will disagree about now the question like like you're saying is consciousness an emergent phenomenon or is it a, something else what do we mean by emergent phenomenon by emergent phenomenon we mean is is consciousness a computation mm-hmm. If you have a computer which is complex enough will those computations that are happening within the within the computer create what we call consciousness mm-hmm. so is consciousness a computation is the brain a, a massively advanced computer and the computations that are happening in the brain is that what gives rise to consciousness or is consciousness something else altogether we don't have the answers to that the entire universe if you look at the structure of the universe it's very similar to the structure of the brain neurons inside the brain the way they are arranged axons the synapses the clusters of neurons and all that the yeah. dendrites all of that it looks very much like the large scale structure of the universe this is not something that is only like superficial people have actually done rigorous research about that physicists and now we also have the problem that uh, neurons for instance in the brain they send signals at about what 5 to 50 signals per second each yes, neuron yeah, yeah. Okay. and the signals in our brain they typically travel at about 100 meters per second yeah about approximately yeah. so that's a million times slower than the speed of light hmm. right but the universe is so vast that even if you have signals traveling at the speed of light since the beginning of the universe you may have a thousand signals happening between different parts of the universe so then if the universe is a thinking brain then maybe it thinks it thinks very slowly uh, but and by sending signals you mean you're talking of uh, electromagnetic gravitational all forms of energy transfer let's consider both of them light. as signal yeah, okay. they both travel at the speed of light that's yeah. the speed limit right. so if you take that at the speed limit then the brain the, the universe if it is a brain is a very slow thinking brain right. but there is a caveat the world that we live in emerges out of the ultra microscopic quantum world now at the quantum scale the the rules of the world of the universe are very different from what we experience today there is no such thing as locality in the quantum world and that is something we see because of the phenomenon of entanglement yeah. when you can have two particles that are a million light years apart and they are still connected together they share a single wave function so you have non localism non locality in yeah. quantum mechanics which raises the possibility that maybe the entire universe is non local and you may have quantum worm wormholes uh-huh. so maybe wormholes do exist at the quantum level and maybe uh, cosmic strings which is another thing which emerges out of the big bang maybe they also exist and maybe they connect the whole universe mm-hmm. at very small scales but across the entire universe in which case the signaling may happen almost instantaneously mm-hmm. in which case the universe may be a thinking brain and maybe consciousness is something that is an inherent property of the universe right. that's a possibility and maybe our consciousness is a small localized uh, manifestation Spike of the universe of, yeah so in quantum field theory we have particles are nothing but manifestations localized concentrations of waves mm. you have of fields they are like small waves in a big field so maybe our consciousness also is part of a universal consciousness field and it is a localized concentration of consciousness so these are see there is no way of proving or disproving this right. that's why it is kind of speculation that's why it's kind of philosophy right. yeah but but science does allow for these things these possibilities it's fascinating and i i love that science can make you fantasize like this 